Welcome to the ACHR Newsroom. I'm Maria Taylor, Managing Editor for the ACHR News, and here's a recap of the industry's latest headlines. A federal court on June 20th threw out an Environmental Protection Agency rule that would have required the use of refillable refrigerant cylinders and the use of QR codes to track them. The decision is a win for three HVACR trade organizations and Worthington Industries, the only domestic manufacturer of refrigerant cylinders, all of which had challenged the rule in federal court. ACCA, PHCC, and Hardy were the plaintiffs in the suit. They argued that the EPA lacked the authority to mandate the use of refillable cylinders and QR codes, and that the rule would place an undue burden and expense on the HVACR industry. The cylinder rule, which was to take effect in 2025, was part of the EPA's plan for phasing out the use of HFC refrigerants. The EPA had relied on the AIM Act of 2020, which authorized an HFC phase-down as its authority for making the rule. However, two of the three judges on the DC Circuit panel that heard the case agreed with the plaintiffs. Judge Justin R. Walker wrote in the majority opinion, the EPA has not identified a statute authorizing its QR code and refillable cylinder regulations. We therefore vacate those parts of the phase down rule and remand to the agency. Alex Ayers, Director of Government Affairs at Hardy, said the EPA has been diligently working to implement regulations to guide an HFC phase down, but he said, with the speed of these regulations come bad ideas that will damage our members. He said Hardy and the entire HVACR industry remain supportive of the HFC phase down and look forward to continuing to work with the EPA in achieving the goals of the AIM Act. Recently, the team behind air monitoring product IAQ, which can be placed in homes, offices, labs, or any place with a power source and immediately access a full accounting of potential pollutants in the air, dove into what U.S. cities have the worst indoor air pollution. The company looked at the 100 largest metropolitan areas, then analyzed publicly accessible data to pinpoint areas with high exposure to pollutants, such as humidity, forest fire, allergies, cars per household, industrial pollution, and particulate matter. They also looked at growth rates and development practices in each city. Gideon Rubin, CEO and co-founder, said, Unsurprisingly, results tend to show that cities with high growth rates and a lot of sunshine, primarily in the south and southwest, run a higher risk of encountering air pollution. Taking that dubious honor as top of the list was Houston, Texas, due to its elevated humidity levels, busy freeways, and seasonal allergy from pollen, but also because of the city's high concentration of industrial jobs. Rubin said, as an energy capital, living in Houston comes with the ever-present risk of high pollution and particulate matter in the air. Heat pumps are now the primary comfort choice for American citizens. In 2022, for the first time, heat pumps outpaced their gas furnace counterparts in annual sales. While all projects are unique, HVAC contractors can generally follow the same blueprint when installing a residential heat pump. The ACHR News asked a handful of contractors to provide us with a list of the top 10 steps to a top-notch heat pump installation. One of the recommendations is a pre-installation interview. Reedy Ward of Comfort Services in Pinehurst, North Carolina said, Prior to getting started on a project, we send homeowners a four-question comfort quiz, which tells us a little more about the home and the homeowner's concerns. From there, we go over what the customer is experiencing and what his or her expectations are. He called it the most important part of the entire installation. Other steps include running a load calculation, explaining the offer, and discussing maintenance plans after the system is installed. For the full 10-step guide and all the latest on HVACR contracting, visit our website, achrnews.com, and follow us on social media. I'm Maria Taylor. Thank you for watching.